Start the day with thoughts of goodwill. It's easiest when you've learned how not to place unnecessary burdens on your own mind. To breathe deeply, breathe comfortably. Try to establish a sense of well-being here in the present. Sometimes you establish a sense of well-being first, and then you spread thoughts of goodwill. Other times you've got to remind yourself, this is why I practice. And you realize that in the practice that you're not harming anybody. You're not harming yourself. You're not harming other people. You're looking for a happiness that's blameless. And that makes it easier to settle down. So the two practices go together, getting the mind settled with the breath and spreading thoughts of goodwill. But don't save the goodwill only for times when you're feeling at ease. There was a one time when the, the Buddha was wounded by a stone sliver, that rock that Devadatta hurled down the mountain. didn't hit the Buddha, but it did smash into slivers, and one of the slivers went through right through the Buddha's foot, so he had to lie down and rest. Mara came to taunt him, saying, you're sitting there moping, and the Buddha says, no, I'm not moping, I'm spreading thoughts of goodwill to all beings. That way you get yourself out of your personal narratives about why did they do this, why did they do that, why am I hurt, why am, why am I suffering, why am I in pain when other people are walking around okay. The Buddha didn't have any thoughts like that at all. It was simply goodwill for all beings. That helps to lighten a lot of your loads. So whether you're feeling good or not, try to extend goodwill to all. And that way you feel like less of a victim. You're more in charge of your situation. And that's what the practice is all about, is putting you in charge of your mind, the situation inside. There's a part of us that each of us has that nobody else can reach, your own experience of how things look to you and how things feel to you, how things sound. Each of us has our own personal world of this sort. And it's right in this personal world that we're making ourselves suffer, but it's also right in this personal world where we can put an end to that suffering. That's what the Buddha is trying to reach into. He can't reach into directly, but he can give you advice. This is how you learn not to make yourself suffer. And it's our recognition that we are doing that. That's what opens us up to listening to his message. So straighten out things inside. And that makes you not only lighter for yourself, but lighter on the world.